Good morning. So, it is already 3am na lang madaling araw dito. Hindi ako makatulog. So, I've decided na magawa ng video. Actually, nakuha na tong video na to before nung nasa barko ako. Right now, nandito ako sa South Korea. Sa hotel where I will be staying until October 25, I think. And, ayun, meron akong video na nagawa dati about freshwater generator explaining the principle of operation uh, yung sistema niya mm, maybe I will post the link here, dito, dito so you can watch kapag hindi nyo pa napanood yun and dun sa mga nakapanood na you can uh, refresh it again para mas madali nyo maiintindihan sa video na papanoorin nyo ngayon which is ito na yung actual na kung paano yung starting procedure ng freshwater generator sa ating barko. And one more thing nga pala, I will be conducting voiceover doon sa ating pong video para mas madali yung maintindihan. Kasi hindi, hindi ko siya na-explain habang ginagawa ko yung procedure dahil isang rason ay hindi nyo rin po maririnig dahil sobrang ingay po sa makina sa ating engine room. So, itong video ng ito ay ginawa ko para sa mga marine engineering students. Uh, at the same time, para sa mga kapwa ko makinista. Uh, Doon sa mga nakakaalam na, well, it will it can be a refresher uh, a refresher for your knowledge. And, dun sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam na uh, mga ratings na magiging uh, third assistant engineer or fourth engineer kung sino man may hawak sa inyong company ng freshwater generator well, ito ay isang guide sa inyo kung paano nyo may start ang freshwater generator ng tama and also, ang atin pong freshwater generator dito ay shell tube type na sa Sakura po yung kanyang model right, let's start So right now, we will be heading to the lower deck of our engine room wherein we can find our two overboard valves for a pushwater generator for the, uh, for the adductor. So we will open it both so that our cooling water may exit and thus having a continuous flow for our condenser and also for the feed to our evaporator which is then boiled to become fresh water. I always start at the overboard valves or the outlet valves simply because for safety purposes uh, so that if ever I started the pump the waterway is clear thus preventing it from damage. So this is the fresh water generator. And here as you can see, a step-by-step -step operating procedure was posted by the maker to ensure safety operation of the machinery. Close the vacuum breaker valve. Partially open the cooling seawater outlet valve. Fully open the cooling seawater inlet valve.
fully open the adductor inlet valve. This is the ejector pump and the adductor. Start the ejector pump. This is the vacuum gauge. So uh, as you can see there is a mark on around negative 0.09 megapascal. This means that we should maintain the vacuum uh, on that desired pressure to ensure good distillation. This is the feed water valve wherein our seawater to be boiled enters the evaporator. So as you can see, pressure has already built up inside our shell due to the pressure being created by the adductor. Open the jacket cooling freshwater outlet valve. and gradually open the jacket cooling fresh water inlet valve. This is the temperature controller for our main engine jacket cooling fresh water. We can use it as our guide for the timing of our gradual opening of the cooling fresh water inlet valve. So as you can notice, we gradually adjust the opening of our inlet valve to prevent sudden drop of temperature for our main engine's cooling water. I was monitoring the, the actual temperature of our cooling fresh water through that monitor. So in the upper portion is the actual temperature and the, on the lower part is the set point of our controller. So whenever it almost coincides, that's the time I partially open again the inlet valve to permit more volume of jacket cooling water inside the evaporator. Thus, maximizing the heat transfer which allows more evaporation of our feed water at rated capacity. So as you can see, our vacuum pressure is quite low, so we need to adjust for better efficiency. We will adjust through the use of this vacuum regulating valve. So as we open more of that valve, we allow the vacuum pressure to be 
higher and vice versa. The vacuum pressure should be controlled well because it greatly affects the salinity content of the product water. Right after the jacket cooling water inlet valve is already fully opened, it is now time that we will close the flow control valve or the jacket cooling water bypass valve to enable the complete flow of the jacket cooling water inside our evaporator. And again, we should perform it in a gradual manner. So a thermometer is connected to the outlet pipe of our uh, condenser and take note of this the temperature difference between the inlet and the outlet of our cooling seawater must be at least 10 degrees Celsius so that we will prevent corrosion from building up within our uh, tubes and thus greatly affects the efficiency of our freshwater generator so currently the outlet temperature was 34 degrees celsius and the inlet temperature was 30 degrees celsius so we need to adjust uh, to enable the 10 degree celsius difference and we can adjust it by partially closing the cooling seawater outlet valve now that the closing of our jacket cooling water bypass valve is complete we can uh, now open this distillate pump outlet valve that will permit the distilled water to be stored up in the freshwater tanks Start the distillate pump. This is the flow meter wherein we can see the production of our freshwater generator that are being stored up to the freshwater tanks. And this is the salinity indicator. Uh, it shows the salinity content of our product water, the distilled water. And this is the salinometer. These senses or measures the salinity content and it must not exceed 10 ppm or 10 parts per million. This is a side glass wherein we can see the actual evaporation inside and what's happening inside our chamber. So that's it. I hope you learned something today and uh, I highly recommend na panoorin nyo muna po yung video na nagawa ko dati about nga dun sa operating principle bago kayo mag jump dito sa operating procedure and mas madali nyo siyang maiintindihan. Thank you sa inyo. Have a good day. God bless.